Hey everyone, Jim here from Village Local. Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, it's just gonna be a short one, but I wanna cover a really important topic, and that is the topic of consumer-directed care. So what is consumer-directed care? Well, in about February of 2017, the government brought in a new way of interacting with the aged care system, and instead of the government providing the funding that can go towards home care support services, to the organisations that have been essentially contracted to deliver those services. They now provide that funding directly to the consumer. They don't put it directly into their bank account, they put it into a special trust fund, and that trust fund is under the management of an organisation, but it is the consumer, being the person who's receiving care support services, they're the ones that can direct how that money is to be spent. Now, for some that might be a little bit, you know, come across as semantics, but it's actually a really, really big deal. And it provides the consumer with a lot of uh, autonomy and rights over how that money is to be spent. Just remember, if you haven't already subscribed to our newsletter, make sure you go over to our website, hit the subscribe button, put your, put your name down. Uh, we regularly create videos like this every other week, um, just for you, just to help you navigate your way through the aged care sector so that you can access the level of support that you need, continue living safe and independent and well in your own home. example, right? Uh, sometimes for those people who have been approved for a home care package, uh, support services, they may need you know, uh, general cleaning around the home or garden maintenance or help with cooking or transport. So a home care provider, well, they've got staff uh, that can deliver those services uh, and they will uh, withdraw money from the home care package uh, funding that the government's put into your, into, into your trust fund and that's how those services will be paid for, right? But sometimes, just on the odd occasion, the consumer, the person who's needing support services, they need like little one-off jobs done. It might be uh, some electrical work because there's some wiring problems in the home. It might be uh, there's a water leak so they'll need to call a plumber. It might be uh, the, the, there's a big tree that needs some pruning so they've got to call a, a person that, that, that does that. Um, these are one-off jobs, they're not ongoing. So for the consumer, you can then direct how that money is to be spent, your home care package funding to be spent towards those particular services. And it's as simple as, you know, in, in, in its first instance, contacting your home care provider and say, hey, I need this particular job done. Um, can you organize some quotes for me? Can you facilitate that process with some tradespeople or some service providers or whatever? Um, and they can do that. But the other way you can do it as well is you can actually organise your own people. So you actually don't need to use the recommendations or even the service people that your provider is offering you. If you have a gardener that, uh, that you're used to using, if your friends have used, you may have used for, for a long period of time, um, and you know them, like them, trust them, and they, 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 they are fair and equitable, and they've also got their registered business as well, and they've got their compliance checks in place, then you can ask your provider if they have any problems with using that organization as your service provider. Most of the time they won't. If they do have a problem, there's probably a valid reason for it and it's just about talking to them, to your provider, uh, to work through those challenges uh, and uh, once they're clear out of the way, well then there's really, there's really nothing in the way of you using your own service provider for those, for those third party services. This is the concept of consumer directed care okay so some examples just rattle off a few more examples of of what are these uh, you know additional uh, support services that people tap into or even products and things like that so as i mentioned some of the trades uh, gardening um, uh, uh, cleaning cleaning more of the commercial heavy lifting sort of cleaning that might you might need done around the house for example need the need the uh, the, the shed cleaned out right or um or you know, um, uh, pressure cleaning of, of, of slippery floors and things like that. These are all sort of specialist things that a home care providers, uh, daily caregivers wouldn't be doing for you. Other things that people spend their, 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 their funding on is products as well, right? So uh, daily living aids, um, mobility uh, devices, uh, hydraulic beds or electric beds and, and, and lifter chairs particularly help, helpful for those that are experiencing arthritis and, and have mobility challenges. Um, all these things, it's really just about mentioning to your home care provider, look, these are, these are my struggles, I've seen these particular things that would be useful for me, 
Um, can we put that into our care plan and, and build it into our care plan and the available funding uh, within my home care package to be spent on acquiring those devices or those additional services that, uh, that would help you stay independent and well in your home, okay? And that is the whole purpose of the home care package, uh, the home care package scheme. It's, it's to enable uh, uh, older people across the country to stay in their own homes, to continue living well and safe and living the life that they want to live and uh, staying out of nursing homes and staying out of hospitals uh, and avoiding uh, avoidable uh, incidents. Um, so I hope you found that inf information useful. It's consumer directed care. Uh, somewhere on this page I'm going to put a link to where you can read more about that topic. Uh, and like I said, if it's something that um, uh, would be useful for you or you want to sort of discuss that further and you're currently getting a home care package, then I encourage you to speak to your home care provider, your case manager, your care coordinator and they'd be able to step you through that information. If you've not registered for a home care package and you're finding that there are you know, things around the home that you're really struggling with, be it your health is preventing you to do certain things, or you might already be getting some entry level support services and you're finding that it's not quite enough, then I encourage you to uh, have a look around um, either on the screen here or somewhere on this page, there's some video links on how to, the process you can go through to get registered for the correct level of support you need. So if you've got any other questions, then uh, by all means, reach out to us, write to us, call us, our contact details are on the page as well. Take care for now, speak soon, bye.